Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabijina Muhammadin. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim Rabbi shrah li sadri. Wa yassir li amri. Wa ahlulu qtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, we are doing lesson number five. A very beautiful lesson. Very interesting lesson, brothers and sisters. Yesterday we read the key. But it was your first time, so some of you may not have understood it fully. But today we will revise everything. We won't read the key, but I urge you to read the key at home, brothers and sisters. Today we will start the <coughs> uh, lesson. But in book three, I have a different approach, brothers and sisters. We do not uh, read the lesson, but we go to the exercises. Uh, and I will tell you where to go. And then uh, once we have a little knowledge of uh, the different aspects w- which are being discussed in the main lesson, you will find the main lesson more interesting and enjoyable. Huh? Now, brothers and sisters, I used to mention to you in book two, uh, when we studied Misal, Ajwaf, and Akis, you know, there are two Letters of Arabic language, vow and ya. If they become part of the verb, then the verb becomes weak. It does not conjugate the way other verbs normally conjugate. Huh? So, in Misal, we have fa kalima. If the fa kalima is vow or ya, it becomes weak. And in book two, we only studied Misal al wavi. Remember, al-misal, al-wawi, you, but we say al-wawi, but it is actually al-wawi, you, with a shadda on ya. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We did not study, Dr. Saab did not feel necessary to study, misal al-yai, because misal al-yai behaves normally. Are you with me? The abnormal behavior only comes with misal al-wawi. Wajada yajidu. But if it is yai, then you drop, you do not drop anything. So it's normal. Huh? We did not study. But you will come across this in our studies, inshallah. If I get an opportunity, I'll, I'll uh, let you know when the verb comes. Huh? Now, it's ajwaf when ain kalima is either waw or ya. Are you with me? If it is waw, what do you call it? Al ajwaf al wawi. And if it is ya, you call it al ajwaf al ya. Very simple, brother, and very interesting. Now, if the nakis, which is the lam kalima, either waw or ya. So if it is Wow, then you will call it al nakis al wawi. And if it is ya, then you will call it al nakis al yai. Now, these things we will take in this lesson. We'll take a note of it. And Dr. Saib mentions it. Huh? So, in future, when you come across Nisal, Ajwaf, and Nakis, we also have to keep it in mind. Is it ajwaf wawi or yai? Is it nakis wawi or yai? Huh? It's not difficult, brother. Very, very easy. Brothers and sisters, we go to page number 51. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Al Madi and Al Mudariya. Al Mabniyu. Lil ma'alum, al-mabniyu 
lil majhul that is madi and then in mudariya we have al mabniyu lil ma'lum and al mabniyu lil majhul brothers and sisters as we had uh, uh, brushed through the key now it is coming in front of us in the main uh, lesson qala al mabniyu lil ma'lum what will become majhul qila huh? are you with me qila fine brothers and sisters ba'a bi'a qila huh? means it was told if you wish to write it do write it brother this <coughs> translation will help you to understand better it was said it was said qila huh? it was said ba'a and then bi'a it was sold saka sika it was driven saka yasuku okay zara zira it was visited zada zida it was increased khafa khifa it was feared or worried are you with me brothers and sisters now these verbs brothers and sisters as you know qala is kawala ba'a is baya saka is savaka zara is zavara zada is zayada and khafa is khawifa khawifa so you can figure out whether they are ja'i or wa'i with your continuous study and observation you will find it inshallah very easy but qala became yaqulu so what is the al mudariya lil majhul yuqalu are you with me brothers and sisters now you see all the verbs in majhul have the same pattern yabiu will become yuba'u like yuqalu huh? yasuku yusaku what is the meaning of yuqalu it is said yuba'u it is sold yusaku it is driven yuzaru it is visited yuzadu it is increased huh? yukhafu it is fear got the idea brothers and sisters to serve you now you have to write it and practice eh, brother if you won't write then i'm afraid you will forget in the class you may understand but then you will forget so this is very very important writing okay brothers and sisters now we come to uh, page number 52 exercise number 4 now this was little confusing to you to some of you brothers and sisters 